Sorry, don't feel the way. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're getting coffee, that's fine, that's fine. If I can just have your attention, though, that would be wonderful. Thank you. All right. Everybody. Thank you. I used to uh, go to a Sunday school teacher. The Sunday school teacher used to say, um, if you can hear me clap once, if you can hear me clap twice. Now, I don't know what that did, but I guess it worked among the kids. I don't know. All right, so. Networking Today, I'll tell you guys this real quick. Networking Today, back in 2013, when we started, um, we decided that instead of two 10-minute speakers or you know not having a speaker at all, we decided that we would give the floor uh, to a business spotlight of the week. Now, some of you are thinking, because of the way that I set it up, that what this means is somebody gets the floor for just 20 minutes, and they do. But here's the thing I want to challenge everybody with. Is everybody listening? Here's the thing that our, that's our challenge. Do you guys care about revenue for your business? Yes. Do you guys care about that? Yes. Well, guess what? So does everybody else. And so one of the ways that we can help each other do that is when we give the floor to the speakers for 20 minutes, they take 20 minutes, but the rest of us take the rest of our week and we focus on that business and that business alone all week. Now, if you run into somebody that needs networking, refer them to me, that's fine. You need somebody that needs, you know, Parker, refer them. Of course, still do the referrals. You know, I'm not saying don't do that, right? I'm saying to you, though, that if all of us focused, I had this idea that if all of us focused on one single business, the whole week we could change, we could set the stage for the whole year. And that's why we do a 20-minute spotlight speaker. And so today, what you're going to see is about 20 minutes, maybe a little bit less. I have to rush a little bit. But uh, maybe a little bit less of what a 20-minute spotlight speaker looks like. And so I want you to be gracious. I want you to post on Facebook. You can take a picture of their slide and, and post it out there when they get their phone number and everything out there. And I'll have that back up in a few minutes. And you can turn around. It's on that TV back there as well. For those of you that are in the back of your room, you get a better picture of that one. That's fine. But I hope that all of us will take the opportunity to really promote our business spotlight speaker today. Dean and Jan have been faithful members of Networking Today for a very long time. They're pillars in Networking Today and in this particular meeting. And they are absolutely wonderful members, and you would be wonderful to follow in their footsteps. I promise you that. Ladies and gentlemen, for the next 20 minutes, let's give it up for Dean and Jana Palombi. Thank you, Rich. We can start out with our slide. Uh, we are the Palombi team. People have a hard time with our name, so we developed the catch slogan when you buy or sell, make it a Palombi, right? Buy a house. So there you go. Uh, real fast and into this. This is our beautiful family. It all starts in the middle with my mom and dad, 86 and 87 years old, up at the top, who live just seven houses away from us. We moved them there. Um, that's Dean's mom down at the bottom. She lives in New Jersey. That's our son up in the right-hand side, Kevin. He is a successful graphic designer here in Knoxville. Um, that's our little puppy, Gizmo, down there. Up at the top, our beautiful daughter, Gina, just turned 30 yesterday, and her husband, Brad. She is a speech pathologist here in Knoxville. And our pride and joy, due on Easter Sunday, our first grandson, Declan. <laughs> we have sold over $60 million in sales, over 500 homes sold, and 18 years, over 18 years in business. This is our office in Florida. We started our real estate career um, almost two decades ago. Um, we had a home office, and we had an office called Palumbi Realty. Um, this is the cover of um, an Orlando magazine that we were featured in. We were in the top 10% of realtors in the Orlando area, and we were featured on this magazine. Yeah. <coughs> we are the team. It's just you and me, like we talked about a little bit on the radio a while ago. We do not have any minions. We love minions, but they always get things wrong. If you look at the pictures of listing agent, listing agent, broker's agent, transaction coordinator, buyer's agent, when you get into a transaction, you want to talk to the same people all the time. Not, oh, the transaction coordinator told me this, not the buyer's agent. It's confusing. Minions always mess it up. There are no minions on our team. We do have affiliates, so 
What does that mean? If you are new in the business or you're part-time in the business and you can't manage your customers, we have a program to work with other agents. It doesn't matter if you're with Realty Executives or another agency. If you're licensed in Tennessee, we help other realtors and we cooperate with them. And we determine case-to-case basis how to split the commissions that come from those sales. We also can have agents work new open houses and get more listings, more exposure, more exposure. Open houses do work, people. That's right, we do open houses. If a realtor tells you open houses don't work, don't believe them. We sold many homes on open houses. Also, when that open house sign goes up, we put it in the ground midweek, so that if someone has an interest in a home and they see that open house sign go up, that's gonna pressure them to get in there, get a contract on that home. We sometimes don't do the open house because somebody purchases it before we get to that day. Open houses work and we do them often. When we list your home, we don't just put a sign on the ground, we put directionals on the way to your sign. And what makes us unique is we put your address on that directional. Because when they come into a beginning of a subdivision, they could drive for 10 minutes and never find your home and leave. The address helps them find you. Additionally, we like to talk about our listings with our customers weekly. We don't just put a sign in your ground and then don't talk to you. How many people have listed a home and never heard from the agent for like months, right? So every month, every Monday is Monday morning quarterback. What happened on the showings? Why didn't we get any showings? Did our other listings get traffic and why didn't they? Maybe it's time to adjust something. So that's how we manage your listing on a weekly basis. Also, we've got smart technology at the curb. People drive up, they look at a home, and they've got questions, right? So they go to an information tube. Who's ever pulled up to an information tube and the box is empty? Almost always. Or they don't have a price. Isn't that tricky? I love that. So we have smart technology. The customer will text this code, and all of a sudden they'll get a text back with pictures and information about the home. The beautiful part is we are also notified, so we have a telephone number of who's interested. Many times, and most of the time, I'm on the phone because I'm the mouth guy, and I get on the phone and say, hi, you're looking at this home in 7,000 Hampshire. Well, guess what? We can schedule a personal tour for you. We get the information right while in front of the home. What questions do you have while you're looking at it? What time would you like to see it? We don't just list your home, we sell it with smart technology. Zillow, so many people that are by owner pound their chest and tell me, I can sell my home on Zillow all by myself, I've got a free ad. Well, their name is way down here on the bottom and it doesn't say anything except property owner. Buyers avoid that, they don't wanna to talk to the owner, they wanna get information, so they'll click every other button and Zillow sells a lead to some crazy realtor that's never been in the house. When we list your home, Zillow is required to give us top billing. We get the calls. People call and ask about the house. Yes, the master is on the main floor. That's a great thing. Would you like to come see it? We can show you the home and sell you the home. Zillow works for us because if you listen with us, we get more information. Networking works. We do a lot of networking, especially NTI. Over 65% of our business came from NTI alone last year. Um, don't let anyone tell you networking doesn't work. NTI works. Why Realty Executives? Well, because Realty Executives lets us do our thing. They've got great administrators in the background to handle compliance. We get all of our inbound calls, so there's nobody stealing our leads at the brokerage firm. We get them. Um, we keep all of our income because we pay on a monthly basis up front. And so do most of our colleagues. So we work with more experienced agents, and again, they don't attempt to steer individuality. Where the fees we charge, we don't charge 6%. 654, our exclusive 654. We've been losing, using this since we started in real estate almost 18 years ago. Um, there's a lot of competition in Knoxville, over 5,000 realtors. 6% has always been the norm. We don't do 6% anymore. We do do five. We do need to share commission. Nobody wants to work for free. We need to be able to share commission with buyer's agent. If we sell the home by ourselves with no buyer's agent, we drop your commission down to 4%. We believe that's the fair way to do things. <laughs> Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, <clears throat> we are your team, right? But if you're looking for a new home or an existing home, did you know the people inside the garage or the sales center or new home center, they work for the people that own that development. They don't work for you. We sell new homes and we get paid by the builder. So if you know somebody thinking about a new home, don't let them go in there blindly with no representation. We help. <clears throat> We're there at every stage of that purchase. Design center, visits to the location, the final walkthrough and a closing. We are your advocate.
relationship. That's the most important part of that. We are number one best-selling authors. Whoa. Thank you, Felicia Slattery, for the help with this. If you want to read more about how we got started, pick up one of our number one best-selling books. And this, folks, is our real estate family. And this isn't all of them. These are just a few of the people that we've helped become customers for life with the Palombi team. Take a closer look and you might see some people from NTI. John Beloga, John Heather Lawrence, Honey Wesley on the left-hand side, up top, Catherine Trader Eaton, and of course up at the very top, our favorite, Zan Schreider, one of our favorites as well, right babe? Yes, yes. Okay, we are gonna go off the grid a little bit now, and we are going to talk a little bit about a question that we get asked often. What is it like to work with your spouse? It's a blast, isn't it, babe? I love it. It is. Most of the time it's a lot of fun. Right but we do have our moments, don't we? <clears throat> like when we want to get in the hot tub and relax and... And all Janet wants to do is go through the sales funnel. Did you call the, the Sullivans? <laughs> don't forget it, we've got to get that inspection scheduled. I'm here to relax and get some hot feet and maybe snuggle a little. It's a little hard to turn the brain off when you work in real estate and when you work with your spouse. Right. And Dean gets a little annoyed at me when we're getting out of the car. Why is that, Dean? Especially on a rainy day. So we pull up to, the, to wherever we're going, and I try to hustle, you know, unlock, get things going. I open my door, and I'm standing out there, and before I know it, her door closes, but the back door opens, and she's 10 minutes grabbing files while I'm getting soaked, and I have no shelter anymore. And why is that? Because we work out of our car. Yeah, that's right. And you're perfect. I never get annoyed about anything you do. <laughs> Everybody does think it's like perfection living with Dean Palumbi. Um, we want to sit down and watch a nice movie. Mm. Where's your phone? It's in my hand, of course, texting back and forth to people I need to communicate. I forgot to talk to. That's right. And Dean, do you ever just drive the car down the road? I'm a man. We do multiple things when we drive. We don't just drive. Now, I don't do makeup, but I like to test at red lights. I like to talk to people. I like to audio record a message and text it back to somebody. I do lots of crazy stuff. So if you see the Palumbi team vehicle rolling down the road, you might be a little bit leery that Dean might be texting while he's driving. Uh-huh. And we baker, we banter, but we do love working together. We never fight. That's, no, no, we never fight. It is a challenge working with your spouse, but we love it. How about we tell a couple of funny stories about our real estate career? Well, sure, why not? So um, we always knock on the door and then open up the lockbox and reach inside and say, Palumba team, in the house! And if we hear nothing back, we assume it's safe, right? So we come walking in, four people, and I'm usually the first one still. And here comes a, a, a man Roping up, you know, he's barely covered. He said, you can't come in this way. My wife was still not decent. So they knew we had a schedule showing because everything's done by appointment, but it always gets interesting. What about last week, that house that we showed that had the dog, or was it a horse? It was some kind of animal, but this gigantic dog, again, four people showing the home, and this beast comes out of nowhere, sniffs us all by the side, he lets me. And he's next to me, and he's from the drools coming out like a St. Bernard all over. The thighs are made and all balls out here. <coughs> and I'm green. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And what about the chickens? Yeah, well, we show property. We show a residential home one day. And it looks harmless. We go and they say, well, let's look at the backyard first. We go through the fence. And we don't think anything of it. It's a residential home. You're in subdivision, you know. The door's wide open. All of a sudden, we look back and there's six chickens cruising out the gate and on the front yard. Pink chickens. These guys will take you out, right? <laughs> We don't know chickens, we're from New Jersey suburbs. Right? So we're chasing these chickens across the lawn while the neighbors are all laying and watching us. We get five of them in, but one just won't go. Finally, one of the neighbors next door knows chickens, picks up this beast, throws it in the air, and over the fence it goes. And well, let's not forget, wherever I go, I constantly, you see me looking down, I'm checking to make sure the windows are closed, because I've been on many appointments where I have left the window open. So, selling real estate with your spouse is fun, it's challenging, it's not for the lighthearted. It is, you have to be passionate about what you do, and I hope you can tell that we are. We love selling real estate, we love working together, and we would love to help you. Does anybody have any questions? They can schedule a one-to-one. -one. Yes, they can schedule a one-to-one -one in between our customers. We are in our busy season right now. 
I'm Janet. And I'm Dean. We are the Palumbi team. When you have a home to sell or need to buy a home, make it a Palumbi. Give it up. All right, I hope you guys will take a, uh, a photo with your phone of uh, the screen real quick. You can take that and post that out there on social media for them. You know, if every Thank single you, one of us Appreciate in the room actually took a moment and shared it on Facebook or something like that, they can 